All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, K. Sister here. Back at it yet again with another Kim Wars 3 Remind video for you guys today. Remind news video. That's not a leak this time around. How about that? We're not going to go down that rabbit hole again. I know I'm extremely late to this story right here, but, you know, I was starting back school this week. I had to get all that stuff ready. Back to the group of things, you know what I mean? Your boy's got life to do. But anyways, yeah, I'm back. I'm going to be talking about this little thing right here. That's very interesting, I think, to see where this is going to go. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, D23 has come and passed for this year. If you've been watching me and uh, other Kingdom Hearts YouTubers, we've been kind of hyping up this event as a potential site for a new Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind trailer to drop. They've been showing off Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff there for a while, but unfortunately, we did not get anything there for Remind, which I think was a humongous mistake on Square Enix's part because this year, D23 was a blowout, man. It was the biggest thing for the, like a big couple days, man. You know, with the whole Spider-Man thing going on, everyone was kind of looking at it for the Marvel stuff, Purchase of Fox, live action remix, Disney Plus, all that kind of stuff. Everyone was watching D23 this year. So I think they missed a hell of an opportunity to show off Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. But that's in the past. They can't do anything about it now. Now that that's gone, the big next place for us to get a new uh, Remind trailer is going to be at TGS this year, a Tokyo Game Show, which is actually happening in only two weeks, two weeks from today, this Friday, um, August 30th, September 12th. So again, two weeks from now, not that far off at all. But there might be a little bit of a wrench thrown into the excitement for it because there is something that indicating that it might not be there. So Square Enix, of course, has a lineup for all the stuff that's going to be at this event. Um, they have a little web page for it. They're going to have a big presence here. A lot of stuff's going to be shown off, like FF7 Remake, Avengers, Dragon Quest XI, all that kind of stuff. But uh, there's something curiously absent from this lineup. And I can guess you can assume what that is. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is mysteriously absent from this listing. I can't see it anywhere on here from what I can see. Now, keep in mind, this is not a list of like announcements and reveals that they're going to be having for this year at TGS. This is a list of the games that they're going to be having available at their booth on the show floor um, or either just like China showing off secondhand or whatever. These are the games that are going to be showing off at their booth this year. This is not a list of announcements. But Kingdom Hearts 3 has been at some previous events this year, like at Gamescom. It was there, even though the game's already been out for about six months. Um, you know, they like to market that kind of stuff there, though. And I think it was at Comic-Con, too, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, it's been at some other events, too, even though the game's out, but they're leaving it out of TGS for some reason. I wonder why. So some people are interpreting this as Square Enix confirming that there's not going to be any Remind news at this year's TGS, you know, since it's not on their lineup. Of course, this is all speculation. Nothing is 100% confirmed about this ever. I have to say that every time. But it's very true, nothing's ever 100% confirmed with this kind of stuff, so this is just all speculation right now. But it's just see, it just makes it seem like that, by the way they're going about it. So now that we got the story out of the way, let's kind of delve more deep into this and kind of discuss what Square Enix is trying to tell us here, if they are trying to tell us something for Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. Now, do I personally think that this is them subtly confirming that Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is not going to be at this year's CTS? Honestly... No, because remember, this is not a list of announcements that they're having right here. This is not a list of things that they're going to be revealing or showing off trailers for. Well, yes, they're going to be some trailers for this stuff. They're still going to probably have a demo or at least something to show off at the show floor. But at the bottom here, it lists things like Square Enix Partners, The Good Shop, Music Publishing, all that kind of stuff. That's, of course, not a game because that's just something they have at their booth. And that's what this is a list of here. And I know you're probably saying, oh, well, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind has some new stuff in it. And it was, shown, it was shown off at previous events this year. And even though it's already out, so why not just show it here? Well, you see, the thing about that is, one, it's Japan. They don't really need to market Kingdom Hearts to Japan. Everyone knows what that is over there. Because Square Enix is kind of a big kuna in video games over there, I think. So they really don't need to market that kind of stuff over there. And plus, it's a DLC. I don't think they really think it's justified for them to have a whole section of the booth dedicated to a DLC for a game that's already out when they have so many other new games that aren't, aren't, aren't out yet to demo and show off, mainly being Avengers and FSM Remake, which is why 90% of the people are going to be there. So I just don't think they want to justify the space needed to show off a DLC. Really, that's not really in the cards for them. But again, this is not a confirmation of it not being it there at all, period. It's just a confirmation that it's not going to be a demo or something showing off at their show floor. And, you know, looking at the side again, there are like a couple of options and headers for each of the games on here. And one of the options is like a mega theater. The trailers are going to be showing off in there. I just think maybe they want to keep it under wraps. Maybe they just want to keep it all hush hush about it right now. You know, just kind of keep it a little secret. They're still being very secretive about a remind right now. Because I don't know if that's even the final title for it. Maybe that's what's going on with it. Who knows? Maybe they aren't going to show off the trailer at this thing. And, you know, maybe that's part of my theory that maybe they aren't going to show off any more Kingdom Hearts 3 Mind trailers. They're going to just keep that hush hush until going on. Or maybe something's going on behind the scenes that we don't know of right now. 
and maybe it's gotten like delayed or something like that and they just haven't told us yet i mean that i would like them to tell us if that's the case but mm, i wish it I, w I hope it's not I hope it's not like that, because that sucks. I think Sony is the only one who does like a pre-TGS press conference. Um, I think they hold one every year and it's always live streamed in English too. So don't worry about that. You know, you'll have to get up pretty early, but they have that going on too. So if there's something revealed, it could be there. I don't know if Square Enix does a press conference um, itself over there. I think they just do small little things for like games and stuff, but there wouldn't be a trailer revealed and that kind of stuff. They did show a little bit of something at like one of those little things last year at TGS where they showed off that Aqua Boss fight for the first time. Uh, so that could be something they could be doing there. That could be showing like a, a, like a little bit of a boss fight um, and remind over there if they want to, but that's not officially confirmed. So we'll have to see about that. So look out for the Sony press conference because I think that's where it's most likely going to be. I will tell you though what you're 100% guaranteed to be getting this year at TGS, and that is an interview with Nomura about Kingdom Hearts 3, Remind. Um, every year he does an interview with Dengenki, PlayStation, and or Famitsu. I think his main focus this year is going to be on FF7 Remake, of course, but he's of course going to talk about Remind in there a little bit, and he's going to reveal some cool little juicy details, I think. He always goes in depth with those interviews. There's always some interesting stuff in those, so make sure to look out for that. I'm going to be covering all that when that comes out, so tell me down in the comments below what you think about this news right here. What do you think about Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind being at TGS? Do you think it will be there? Do you think it won't be there? Do you think they will be showing up any more trailers at all? What do you think Nomura is going to be talking about in that interview right there? What do you want him to talk about in there? What details are you most excited to see discussed? Tell me down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video and follow me on Twitter and join the Discord server and follow me on my new channel. That'd be really awesome if you did. This is McKay Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye!